Gogeta versus Vegito. This debate has been spiraling just out of hand on Twitter and a little bit on YouTube. It's just been popping up everywhere. And, for, well, first things first, before I even get started into this, I'm going to give my opinion on which one's better, why they're better, and just everything about them, what I think about each of them, what's better what what's better on one versus the other, just just everything. And another thing, sorry about the crappy mic. I, okay, look, it's just a mic connected to a headset. I don't have too much. I'm, I'm working with very little here. <laughs> okay. Also, I'm a little bit sick, so if I sound raspy or if I cough every once in a while, that's why. <clears throat> Alright, so first things first, I'm going to say, until Dragon Ball Super, I preferred Gogeta by far. I thought Gogeta was better looking, uh, more stylish, and its fight style was ten times cooler than Vegito's. After DBS came out, and Vegito Blue appeared, I started to shift towards Vegito. His personality, where he can sway back and forth and how he fights, disrespectful, but then at times obviously serious. And now I'm really on the edge for both. I love both of their characters and designs and everything about them. Secondly, I will briefly mention power, but that is not the main focus here. So my biggest gripe about people saying Vegito is stronger is because of Katara. Is one thing. It's just one thing that bothers me. So, in the mangi... Elder Kai stated that the reason Patara is better than Dance Fusion is because the Fusees can fuse at full power with no repercussions. However, now correct me if I'm wrong, but nowhere does Elder Kai say the Patara earrings also gives you a power boost. So technically speaking, if Goku and Vegeta have the same base power level, they don't need to worry about fusing at the same strength, air quotes, because they are already equal. And yes, this means they ha they are equal strength in their base form, which was never confirmed or denied in Fusion Reborn or GT. So, from how I see it, Gogeta and Vegito are literally dead equal strength, as long as their base forms have equal power levels. So, that yet, we've never been confirmed that, especially during whenever they fused in the Zamasu arc or the Boo arc or Fusion Reborn or GT. We're never told. We're, like, they might be extremely close or... It might be a little bit far. We, we don't know. They've never confirmed. And I'm specifically talking about base power levels. Third, so design. When it comes to my, uh, when it comes to my opinion, I always thought Gogeta, and I'm specifically talking about their face here. Their, their face wise, Gogeta always looked cooler and more thought out. And I'm sure everyone knows this if you even know a little bit about Gogeta. If you cut Gogeta's face in half, one, Half of his face is identical to Goku, and the other half is identical to Vegeta. Vegito's hair, while I admit it looks very cool in its own right, did not seem to have any background to it. Now, correct me if I'm wrong again. So when it came to facial features, I always preferred Gogeta, just because it's like it seemed like they put a lot of thought into how Gogeta looked, just his entire, uh, I would say, theme of him, but I don't think that's the right word. Anyway, just Gogeta's face to me looks better than Vegito's, and I know that sounds really weird, but... His design, it seemed like they really thought it through. Now then, their full clothing. I always liked how Vegito's clothes was a combination of Goku's and Vegeta's color scheme. And just like the face, I liked it that they seemed they put more thought into it. So, when it came to clothing, or came to clothing, I preferred Vegito's over Gogeta. And don't get me wrong, I do really like Gogeta's color scheme and his dance fusion clothes. They never really explained why they got that color, because Gotenks' fusion clothes were different from Gogeta's, and they've just never really explained that, so we don't really know what that means unless they explain it. Spoilers, new Broly movie. But they never explain that, oh, if you're an adult, it's these colors, or if you're a kid, it's these colors. They never said anything. So here's the big one and probably one of the most fought about ones, their port their personality. English well, guys. English well. Their personality. Alright, so unfortunately, we only have those two times with both Gogeta and Vegito Fuse, so we really don't have much to work on personality-wise. But I'm going to say what I've deduced for myself. So everyone says, Gogeta's too arrogant, or Vegito's too cocky. Well, I honestly think, now, now hear me out, this one is, it, I might get a little bit of hate for this one. 
I think Gogeta and Vegito's personality are extremely similar. And I I'll explain why. But we've only seen one side of each of them. Goku always is too overconfident, as discussed in Super. And Vegeta is always too arrogant. And that's understandable. He's the Saiyan Prince and all that. But I believe the combination of those two traits give us specifically Vegito and Gogeta's traits. I'm going to say the biggest trait that stands out for the both of them is one specific word. That's disrespect. Vegito and Gogeta are the most disrespectful people in Dragon Ball that we know. And I think that trait is formed because of the Goku and Vegeta traits I talked about a second ago. Both Vegito and Gogeta are very disrespectful. For instance, Vegito, he's constantly trash-talking Boo when he fought him. And when he's talking to Fusamasu, he's calling him Mr. God and all this other stuff. And when Gogeta was fighting Janemba, he just took uh, Gogeta's, or not Gogeta's, Gogeta took Janemba's punch straight to his face and just kind of stood there. Disrespectful. And then when fighting Omega Shinron, after Omega Shinron fired that really powerful uh, little blast attack at him, he like cracked his neck and said, oh, can you do my back now? He, it, it was fixing, it, it was helping him. They're just really disrespectful. And that's what I love about Gogeta and Vegito both. They're both just crazy disrespectful and I love disrespect if you've seen any other videos from my channel. So, <coughs> excuse me. Let's see. Now, when it comes to them both being disrespectful, they both seem to have a serious and a fun side. Uh, for Vegito, the fun side came from fighting Boo. You could see how he was toying around with him, and I know people are going to say, oh, it's just because he was trying to get him to absorb him. We're not talking about that. Because I feel like that is the most brought up instance for Vegito never beat anyone. Well, guess what? He wasn't, he was trying to not beat him. I. I don't know if I believe that. I know he was trying to get absorbed, but I feel like Vegito could almost have just said it practically and Boo would have been like, oh yeah, that's a good idea, and try to absorb him. Now, the fun side coming from Vegito versus Boo, and for Gogeta, it's versus Shenron, how he did the bluff Kamehameha and uh, was trash-talking him the whole time. But then the serious side for Gogeta, obviously, versus Janemba. He, um, and, and the reason why I think he was so serious about Janemba both Goku, Goku went Super Saiyan 3 against him, got destroyed. Vegito went his full power, Super Saiyan 2 against them, also got destroyed. They both knew when they fused, we have to finish this. If we unfuse before this thing ends, we're done for. So they had to finish it. They knew that if they didn't beat him, it'd be over. And then Vegito versus Zamasu, he went all out in that fight. Went straight into blue the second he started fighting. He throwing his spirit sword out there. He did talk a little bit, but that's Vegito. You, you can't you can't hold it against him. So each of them share very similar qualities. So when it comes to personality, I'd say there is very little difference. Let the hate flow through you. <clears throat> so fifth, fight style. Now this will take into account combos, so you first punch, special moves, and just all around punches and kicks. For Vegito. Vegito has a very interesting fight style, because if you pay very close attention in both of Vegito's fights, he uses a ton of combos, in air quotes, from both Goku and Vegito. It is amazing how much attention to detail the artists slash animators did to his fight style. He would do many things directly correlated to Goku and Vegito. While fusion is supposed to create an entirely new being, it is very obvious that it seriously takes the traits of the fusees and puts them into one. Now, talking about moves. So Vegito obviously has two signature moves. The Spirit Sword, which I know everyone loves, and the Final Kamehameha, which is just an awesome move in my opinion. He also has Genji Blast, but that's not like a finisher or anything. So Spirit Sword is his energy blade. It can freeze opponents in place and has a stun effect. This has been shown only in games to chop up the opponents. In the series, he never actually spun it around or anything like that. He just kind of stabbed them and normally was trash-talking them in the process. So, it was used to hold them in place, but both Boo and Zamasu, uh, Zamasu just being too powerful, and Boo having the regen of ability, he can just walk out of it pretty much. But I'm pretty sure if he used it on any opponent that did not have that type of strength or region abilities, he could have just stabbed them and held them there and just done whatever he wanted. He could have sent a beam into him while he was talking to them, whatever. 
So in Final Kamehameha, this is Vegito's obviously his big move. It's a final flash fused with the Kamehameha. I just love the art of it. It's probably one of my favorite moves from him easily. And it's made into an electrifying beam that just does a ton of damage. The coolest thing is I actually did a little bit of wiki reading on this. While it's like only been seen to have fired really quickly, it could actually be charged like the final flash was. So picture how awesome final flash was and how much quote unquote damage it did to Jiren and Cell. I know it didn't actually hurt them, but come on, it, you know it hurt a little bit. Imagine that with the final Kamehameha, that would just be so destructive. I, Jiren would have instantly got wiped out if they had charged a final Kamehameha against him. <coughs> Excuse me. So now, Gogeta. So, my problem with Gogeta was, he has actually very little combo, punches and kicks, air quotes, etc, etc, etc. He doesn't really have too many combos in the series. He just kind of beat the crap out of the opponents. So, in the Janemba fight, most of the hits seen from him are like really heavy punches and kicks. He's got that spin. Even his fighting is just really disrespectful. So, <coughs> my goodness, excuse me. So, let's see. He's rather ordinary, though, when it comes to his combos. It's like they flow easily. They're kind of natural how they do it. It's just really, I guess, in sync would be a good word to use. He is a, let's see, he has Stardust Breaker and Big Bang Kamehameha is his signature moves. Both are finishers, though. Stardust Breaker is actually very similar to another move in Dragon Ball, the Spirit Bomb. According to the Dragon Ball Wiki, yeah, not the most trustworthy thing, I get it, but you gotta trust it a little bit. While it does hurt those of good heart, it will purify the evil in one's soul. So if it is used on someone evil, while well, there is a problem determining, like the Spirit Bomb, whether someone has a pure heart, because at the beginning of Dragon Ball, the Spirit Bomb worked on, or Dragon Ball Z, I mean, the Spirit Bomb worked on, let's see, Vegeta, but then later, Vegeta needs a pure heart to do the Super Saiyan God ritual, but like, so he got a pure heart, it's something that we never can really understand fully about that, but I still think it would hurt an opponent that even does have a pure heart, but we don't know about that, never been confirmed. Big Bang Kamehameha. This move is a devastating attack that is strong enough to destroy an opponent down to an atom, again, wiki. And it's the combination of Vegeta's Big Bang attack and Goku's Kamehameha. It finishes opponents with a powerful blinding blast that hurts anyone who it is used on. Okay, I actually typed this whole thing up and it took a long time to type it, maybe about an hour. So I've been more or less reading off of that, kind of going off a little bit. But that's my opinion. Um, they both have great traits. It's um, it's really hard to decide. But I guess if I have to say, who my favorite fusion would be? Drum roll, please. Crappy drum roll. Go tanks! I love go tanks. Okay, who am I kidding? I can't lie. I hate go tanks with a passion. Um, no, not go tanks. We don't talk about them. Gogeta versus Vegito. I really can't say I have a favorite, and if I do say I have a favorite, people are going to say, oh, you're biased, so I don't have a favorite. I really can't pick beside them. This movie coming up may change that. I don't know yet, but we will see. So thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, 